What's happening, everybody? Y'all know what time it is. Yep, we at it and in it again, y'all. Yes, yes. Today, we are doing something different. I know some of y'all are probably exhausted already from that uh, 9 millimeter. So we're going to bump it up a little notch. And as you can see, we got this fresh steel sealed with plastic. Yes, yes, y'all. We have a new die set. It is a Hornady. This is, it is, it's the 10 mil, y'all. Y'all, y'all been waiting for this. It's the 10 mil 40 Smith & Wesson. We are going to run auto comp with it and we still got some of these extreme well we've been having all these for a minute but you know these are the look at that it's so it's so new it ain't even open all the way let me just bust it open right quick there it is y'all pretty Ready. Now, let me show y'all what this thing looks like. There it is, y'all. Nice. It's a nice looking projectile, y'all. I don't know what the deal is with this thing, but yeah, there it is, y'all. Anyway, without further ado, I know a lot of y'all got a lot of things to do. Let's go ahead and get on with the program. Just slice a little bit of this pie right here right quick. And I hope everybody's doing all right. And I hope you all are enjoying this change of weather. I know some folks probably would like to keep those warm days they've been having. I discern you to the fullest. But you know, Uh, I'm tripping y'all. I done cut it. Why y'all didn't tell me how to cut it wrong? That didn't do nothing. I'm supposed to cut it down low. There we go. There we go. There it is, y'all. There it is. So it does come with the case mount expander which is really cool come with your lock rings check that out looks nice and now this is your seating die And it does come with, I don't know if we should use this one. This is, it's flat. Yeah, see that? It's for the flat nose. I don't know, it might, might work a lot better with it too, though. I don't know, y'all tell me. flat nose. Let's see what's in here. All right. I 
I guess either or would work. This is for your round nose. I guess either or would really work. But I'm really digging this flat nose, y'all. I think we're going to go with the flat nose this go around. Just to see what it do, baby. Just to see what it do. Oh, look at me. I'm already messing up, y'all. Y'all ain't going to tell me. You messing up. But uh, for those that know, I do have to clean out these dies. And we will be using the one shot. Y'all already know the deal. We'll not be doing that on the video. I know I've been ratting a lot. So, I'm going to save y'all some time. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up. And we'll be back. Alright everybody. We're fully functional. Matter of fact, we went on and took the liberty to install everything. The new shell plate for the 40 cal we are doing 40 cows today seating die two feeder of course the full length resizing die also the ptx uh powder drop die for your uh case expand expansion your mouth mouth expansion to open up your mouth on your case we also have a extra mouth expansion die that actually goes before the powder drop we got everything set up we're working at like 5.7 grains we are using Federal small match primers and again auto comp powder. All right, and we went on and uh made sure the powder drop is dropping where we want it. So we also have our case gauge, this is a Lehman. So without further ado. Let's get on with it. Oh, by the way, all of our brass that we're using, these are mixed head stamps used brass that we've uh, cleaned and processed. And so let's get on with the show. All right, y'all. So we already rotated five shells and already set up our seating die to the proper depth. Now we did uh we did go ahead and install our this little rod right here cuz uh it's the prop it's for the primer feeder thing with jiggy over here. And also this Hornady did uh come through again and sent it to us. And we just went on and put it on to save some time. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's move forward. Let's go ahead and check our powder measure, our powder, to make sure our powder charge is still where we need it. All right, y'all, let's get back in rotation with it. And 
by the way, we're just trying out the mixed head stamps to try to see which one is going to perform better. And y'all know I like to double check my primer. So I keep on stopping because the, if y'all can see, the primer is still sitting proud right here. And I just want to press that all the way down. All right. So from time to time when I do this, it's because I'm trying to get a new primer in there and I'm using that primer to finish seating. Here we go. Finish seating that primer all the way down. Okay. And by the way, we did clean our whole, whole entire press right here where, where underneath the shell plate where the hub drive is, uh, where the primer feeder tube is and underneath where uh, the primer feeder is. And as y'all can see, we did grease also. We always do this every time before we reload. This is our finished product. As you can see, it's different head stamps. And yeah, it's bling blinging, y'all. Yeah. 
Yep, yeah, so this is the first time we've loaded 40 caliber. And hey, y'all know we're gonna let y'all know how it do, y'all. Without a doubt. You know what I mean? But yep, yeah, we did run into several issues with our press. Hornady did, you know, send us our care package. We did install that uh, rod for the primer feeder. Also, that black plastic piece. They also sent us a collet for our 9mm feeder. Because it was acting up. Well, yeah. We was, we was messing up on it, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. On your feeders, make sure you're setting the case mouth expander to the proper depth for your to open up your case mouth. For instance, for these 40 cal, it is 0 0.430. If you don't do that, you will break those collets. Your feeder will malfunction. And don't blame Hornady. <laughs> because you did take your time and that's why when we first started we had like 22 rounds already because we had to make sure everything was right you know what I mean so anyway y'all that's how it is sometimes hey you gotta roll with the punches you know what I mean but another thing I want to mention all of the primers are Press down flush. None of them is protruding proudly. So that feels real good. I did have to cheat a little bit by using a primer underneath it to press it down. I believe it's it's just my primer pockets wasn't cleaned enough. Well, really, I didn't clean them. That's really what it is. But mission accomplished. We got us 100 rounds here. I cannot wait to take these to the range and test them out. Again, this is our first time reloading 40 cal. And there it is, y'all. There it is. Without a doubt. It can be done, y'all. You just got to pay attention to what you're doing. And you got to take your time. If your equipment start failing on you, hey, you're just going to have to kick in low gear and give it a little, a little bit more patience, you know what I mean, and figure it out. Stop rushing. <laughs> Stop rushing, especially with reloading, y'all. Anyway, y'all know the drill. With all that being said, remember, you can Big sense Look at him, check him out. Alright, y'all. Turkey and Big Boy did help me get this done. Hey, I can't take all the credit. Know what I mean? And we hope y'all enjoy some of the new videos we got up. And we appreciate all of our subscribers that's been here from the jump and the new ones that's coming in. Hey. It goes a long way, y'all. Y'all just don't know. All right, y'all. Enough of that. I'm gone.